see out about us, I hear another week to prophesy the downfall of the destruction of this place, known as Babylon the Great. Babylon the Great. First and foremost, we'll start by giving our praises. I thank the Lord to Yahweh. I hope I was shot by Shem, 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 I was shot by Shem,
put the feet around him. He stopped the 12. God left verse 29. When the most high your heart with that power, you cut off the nation from before you. Whether that goes to possess them, and that succeeded them, and dwell in their land, take heed to thyself, that thou be not snared by following them. Right, so a lot of you jakes are getting caught up in these trucks out here that these bevels, that the king of Bethlehem has set up. Y'all think that's the way that you're supposed to do? That's what you're supposed to worship? That's what you're supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Do the Eastern thing, that's, it has nothing to do with the Bible. But you, you niggas want to worship these faking ass holidays, man. Instead of following after the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible, right. which forbids you from doing these things. Mm -hmm. Following after the ways of the heathen. The scripture says, learn not the way of the heathen. You know? Mm -hmm. And this is, that's more proof that this is Babylon 2.0, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all like to put that in This is on Proverbs uh, 14 to 12. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, uh -huh. but the end thereof are the ways of death. So following after the ways of this world will lead you to the pit, to, to, to the grave. You know, you will die because you follow after the ways of this world. And it's, 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 it, it may seem right to you to um, do it to the end, right? Going to church on Sunday, you know, but ultimately at the end of the day, it's, it's a way of death. It's a pagan holiday. The Lord can tell you to do this bullshit. Right. But yeah, look at the tech that y'all into. You got the little edge everywhere. You got the kids participating in the bullshit. Right. You know, Bali is setting great dignity in the society. Right? You know, they don't want to keep the law statutes and limits of the Bible. They want to follow their own God. They want to follow their own God. And not to see the Lord. And if I can say, a rabbit don't even lay there. Right. 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 Even in laughter, the heart is sorrow. They try to find out of their head, like, uh, you know, to make uh, shit seem sweet. But it's not, man. They still push where they still the sons and kiddos get shot down uh, like a dog by Esau in the streets. Yeah, like they can do some different things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, which he deserved it. He says, but the end what? thereof. He says, and the end of that murk is heaviness. So the end of the murk is going to be heaviness at the end of the day, man. Right. Because all hell getting ready to break loose. Right. We, we, get into that too. we we about in the time of Jacob's trouble. You niggas how you celebrating Easter, not knowing that a sword is being sought for right now, man. He's all getting ready to roll, man. You seeing all these psychoses, he's on these plotting here. The the accuser of our brother, man. Right. You know, he's, he's plotting against the Israelites, man. He's ready to roll on these niggas, man. And rightfully so. You need to be the Israelites. Yeah, that's what you need to be. And it will be fulfilled. And, and if I can say this, the Lord said, a serpent is greater than the Lord, man. And the Lord was persecuted, and he was in. And we come in the spirit of Yahweh Shah, so we're going to be able to persecute the Lord. This is uh, Jeremiah 17 and 9. It says, The heart is deceitful above all things Ooh. and desperately wicked. And the, Who hey, can know it? Hey, the heart is your mind from the Hebrew rule of law. So right now, our people's hearts are being wicked, man. You know? Like uh, I just read, um, there's a way that seems right unto a man, but so, the end thereof is death. So the ways of uh, Easter, celebrating Easter, are the ways of death, man. Okay? It's not, it's not going to grant you immortality. It's right. not going to grant you um, everlasting life. And, and uh, um, salvation, man. Right, you don't profit nothing. So what, what, where's it getting you? Where, right. where, where's this worship? Where, the, where is all of this shit getting you? Is it going to get you a spot on the chair? Hell no. Right. It ain't going to get you the fuck out of this society. Right. So you're wasting your time, money, and energy on this right. shit, man. Uh -huh. It's nothing but a money scheme. Uh -huh. Right. Right, you don't have money. Oh, you got it. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, starting at verse 7. And last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Right, we wait, we wait patiently for this day to come to pass. You know, we wait for the prophecies to be fulfilled. Got it, brother. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Right, so you people finna be in a bad case out here. It's finna be a bad case for you people. 
You know, the foods only, the stores only have a, a, a three days, three days supply of food. And when this when this famine hit, it's gonna hit you people real hard. That's right. Because you didn't stock up on faith instead of uh, stocking up on uh, goddamn Easter eggs, man. You know what I'm saying? You should have stopped up on faith. Go ahead. But he shall be saved out of it. Right, so the elect of Yahweh Bashmah shall gonna be delivered from this calamity. Go ahead, keep reading. For it shall come to pass in that day, said the Most High of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck and will burst thy bond. Our captivity is almost over with, man. The Lord is going to deliver us, take this devil out of power real soon. And that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for the manifestation of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, the true God of the Bible. A so-called black man from the tribe of Judah, Yahweh Shai is his name. Hamashiach, which means the anointing. Go ahead. And strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. We ain't going to be in captivity anymore, man. This place is over with. And that's what we prophesying of. Go ahead. But they shall serve Yahweh, their power. Right. And that's what we're doing through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemel Shah. That's why we out here. But you got people out here condoning Easter egg hunts and shit, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? You people are in, all in deep darkness, man. Wake the fuck up. Go right. ahead. Because that shit don't got nothing to do with the scriptures, man. Exactly. Right. Go ahead, bro. And David, their king. Kind. Yahweh Shemel Shah is going to raise up his king, uh, the king of the, the Israel, man. King David. Go ahead. Whom I will raise up unto them. Right, and the Lord gonna raise them up out of that grave, man, which we believe through the Spirit. That's King Mashiach, man. The elders believe it. Hey, if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. Go That's ahead. right. Therefore, fear thou not. Go ahead. Oh, my servant Jacob, said the Most High Yahweh. Right, because this is only about Israel. I don't give a fuck what your damn, yo, your pastor told you. That's or right. Vocab Malone told you, man. This oh, is all God. about Israelite, and it's always been about Israel. You know? It's not about all you heathen, other heathen nations. Y'all don't have salvation. Salvation is only well, of the what? The Jews, man. That's ahead, right. Neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar. Right, the Lord, it may seem like a hard thing, a hard thing for the Lord to do, but I promise you it's an easy thing for the Lord to do, man. You know, I was meditating on this, man. We gotta, we gotta get out of this. And like the scripture says, cast about thee that weak nature. We gotta, we gotta really come to grasp that the power that we serve is capable of any goddamn thing, man. That's right. You know, because in this society, in this world, it teaches you that everything has a limit. Everything is, uh, it has a, basically it has a limit. Yeah, it has boundaries. Right. You know, you know, thank the water, brother. It has boundaries. Everything has boundaries. But when we serve in Yahweh Hashem Shah, there are unlimited possibilities, man. And that's what I was meditating upon, man. You know, the things of this world, Man, we gonna be able to do some beautiful things in these last days, man. Right. And it's all through the spirit of power of Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. And it's a, hey, you can't search out his understanding. That's another thing that's deep to me, man. You know? You want to, you got a picture? Yeah, that one you called from Revelation 20. Right, let me get, let him get this real quick. You got it, brother. I had a couple all of right. precepts, too. This is uh, Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, uh -huh. and ye that dwell in them. Mm -hmm. Woe unto the habitus of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Now, now that uh, word devil means uh, he's a uh, attack. Or it's like a slender. You know, I forget. I believe it means to, to attack too. Um, but he slanders, yeah. Because uh, right now you see it on the media. All he does is slander who. The so-called black Hebrew Israelites, which we're not black. Right. We're exactly. different states of brown. brown. My shirt is black. Right. This is black. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I got it right here, real quick. Come on. It's a play on words. Go ahead, brother. Devil. Prone to slander. Slander. Mm -hmm. Accusing falsely. Accusing falsely. What he do in the Middle East? He accused them of doing this. Accused them of having weapons of mass destruction. He accused them of this. Have no facts of this just to justify him going over there and killing thousands of people, man. And, and like I did that lesson, man, we are the new boogie man. Because he using that, he using that to scare the minds of you simple ass people, man. And you're going right. to eat it up because it's simple, believe it, every word. Go ahead, brother. It says a, 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 a comp, color nature. I got to look that word up. <laughs> false accuser, slander, uh, metaphor. And the scripture says, thou shalt not bear false witness. Right. He saw it's been, that he's known to doing that shit. You know, all the, all, what are the, all the great leaders, the, the leaders of different countries that they don't kill, you know, I forget their names. Uh, 
uh, Muammar Gaddafi, Gaddafi, Saddam Hussein, right. Saddam Hussein, um, amongst others, man. Yeah, and there's many more. They, they, they over there in the Middle East. That's why they call him the Great Satan. Wait, they call, what they call him? Great Satan. The Great Satan. Yeah, I was right. Which that word Satan goes back to the Hebrew word Shatan, which means adversary. And that's why they want the devils out of their land. You got it, brother. Salah. Right. It Remember says, uh, the, the metaphor says, applied to a man who, by opposing the cause of the Most High. Right. And, and that's, that's what you Esau do. <laughs> that's Esau right there. They should have his picture right there. You got it. It says, may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him. Right. He's acting the part of the devil. What does that do? Exactly what this Esau is doing, man. He has, the, he has a lot of riches. He has all the money in the world. But yet, what he's doing? He's, he's, he's purposely crashing the dollar just so he can bring his, his M and M the MOTB, man. You know, which is that's the ultimate agenda. They want to put a, a CHIP in you people, man. Right. You know? Oh, wow. So they can have total control. Right. You got it. It says, um, from the top again, it says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Uh -huh. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, uh -huh. for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right, so this devil only has a short time. Like it says in the book of Job, his days are numbered. You know, this devil only has a short, a certain amount of time before you how about Shmuel shot, unleash the beast on him, man. You know, and there's a lot of things that's going to transpire in these last days, and everything is built by the prophecy. That's why it behooves you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. If you're a part, if this word resonates with you, Get to, get to off your ass and on your feet, man, because the all shot is finna return, man. You know, and he, he looking for workers. You know, you gotta put that work in, man. Exactly. You gotta proclaim his name. You can't be scared. You can't be ashamed. You right. ashamed of Yahweh Shah, you gonna be ashamed of you. And he said it best, man. So we gotta, man, we living in some very beautiful times. And another thing I want to say too, don't get caught up in the media. You know what I'm saying? That media is Esau's weapon. Yep. Esau manipulates, he a happy in a bugged out state of mind if you really paying attention to watching the damn media. Yeah, it comes from um, medium. So yeah. Word medium. It like deals with witchcraft. Yeah, it's witchcraft. That's all it is. That should have had you bugged out if you really paying too much close to the media. Because that's what Esau used to manipulate the minds of the people, man. To have you worry like, oh my God, they doing this, they doing that. Nah, we, ain't need to, we don't need to be in that spirit, man. So just... Keep the medium to a minimum. Right. You know, just, I mean, you get the bits and pieces. Yeah, because that, that's just how you bugged out, man. Yeah, you do. That's why you call fucked up in the head. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to the say, get the meat to spit out the bone. Yep. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. It says, and that knowing the time that now it is our time to awake out of sleep. But now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Right, our salvation is nearer than when we, we believe, man. We know, according to the prophecies, that we're getting closer and closer. And there's a lot of people out here that still sleep. They still in their slumber. And a lot of you gonna die in your sleep, man. Your spiritual slumber. Because you don't wanna you don't wanna attend to the words of the Lord, man. Ultimately, the how about Shmuel shot blinded you? He don't want you. According to the book of Isaiah, you know, he blinded you. So it's high time for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and so-called Native Americans, Seminole Indians, so-called Mexicans, wake up, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Haitians, you know, wake up, man. Because, hey, I was shot for the return. That's right. And, he, and like he said, he said, I would not be me as a man. And we finna rule, man. That's we finna right. rule this next world. You gotta taste right. men. Right. Oh, that was the, uh, oh, okay. You gotta this is um Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 29. It says, Then shall they know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Shem Al Shah, when I have laid the land most desolate. And that's what it, that's Bible, that's prophecy right there, man. That's what he's coming to do. And what's gonna lay this land desolate? Thermonuclear missiles. You know, which it uh uh Ukraine ain't been in, you know, it ain't the topic right now. It's a new topic now. But it's still going on. But ultimately, it's going to lead to a war. Go ahead, brother. It says, because of all the abominations which they have committed. Right. Uh, today is an example of all the abominations. You know, you got everybody cooking. They're cooking that honey ham. Got the pork chops. Damn shrimps, hot. crab, lobsters. Everybody want to throw meat on the grill today. 
Right. Which they don't even know what they're worshiping. Go ahead, brother. It says also, thou son of man, the children of thine people still are talking against thee by the walls and the doors of thine houses. Right. So they're gonna a lot of people are gonna come up against us. Because right. ultimately they they not a hey, like y'all wish I say either they're not with me, it's against me. Man, These they, people not our friends out here. They speaking about us right now, man, because we out here condemning Easter, man. Right. Which is not a, it's not a um a, it's not a part of the scriptures, man. The scriptures don't tell you to, to go Easter egg hunting and, and worshiping a rabbit, which rabbits don't even lay eggs, man. So that's off. And people hate us because we tell them that that's a lie, man. Yeah, you know? Right. Babylon 2.0. Right. The word Babylon comes from the Hebrew word Baba, which means confusion. It says, and speak one to another, every one to his, his brother, saying, come, I pray you and hear what the word that cometh forth from the Lord. It says, and they cometh unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as the people, and they hear my words, but they will not do them. Cause they hypocrites, man. They full of shit. And that's, what, that's what's wrong with a lot of people in society. You full of shit. You will hear the words of the Lord, but you will continue in your fucking wickedness. Right. And then when the Lord judge your ass, then you want to come running us. What the fuck you running up for? Exactly. You was born. Hey, the blood is off our hands. We told you people to stop the, the bullshit ass customs that you continue to do here in Babylon, man. So you, that, you it's gonna lead you to your grave, man. I got a precept. You got some more? Yeah. It says, for what, for what their mouth, I ain't forgot about you. they show much love but their heart goeth forth at their own covert covetousness. Covert covet covet covetousness. Covetousness. Right, yeah. so that hey, the scripture says thou shalt not covet. And Jake covet to do the things of the world. Easter, Christmas, they can't they can't control their fucking flesh. Right. right. They wanna do what everybody else in the world to do. That's why the scripture says follow not a multitude to do evil. Exactly. You wanna die with them, go ahead, man. Yep. We're not following you. That's right. We want to follow after your heart by Shemel Shah. We want to live, man. That's right. Because the, the, the scripture says what? The commandments is lamp. Can somebody hold that on deck? Uh, Proverbs uh, 6 and 23. Well, you know what? Since I said it, you was done, brother? I got a little bit more. Can I finish that? Didn't know he was probably going to get this It says, And lo, thou art on to me as a very, a very lovely song of one that that harp a pleasure voice and can play well with an instrument for it says for they hear my words but they will not do them do them not it says and when this cometh to pass lo it will come then shall they know that a prophet have been amongst them right so we've been warning you you know, according to the, 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 the words that are in this book, we've been warning. And this warning is not from us, it's from Yahweh Shah, man. That's we, right. We are just the messengers. You know, we're telling you to turn from your wicked ways so you'll have hope and salvation. That you'll be able to be delivered from the calamities that's going to befall this place, man. Because a lot of these people out here, they're going to be lined up in them FEMA camps, man. Y'all seen that video I put in the chat? By, uh, I forgot her name. Oh yeah, I seen Luke. Thompson. I believe Thompson. Oh, man, it a, the day, right? Yeah, it was a lot. It's a lot of information on there, man. Y'all better look at it. See, went into everything. You know the signs. You know them red things on the back of those signs and everything. But um, you was done, brother? Yeah, I was it. Got it. Hey, you right, got something, hey, brother? You got something on you? Oh, it's on your face, brother. Why you getting that? This is a book of Proverbs, chapter 6, verse 23. It says, For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and the reproof and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. So we reprove you, Jakes, each and every week. But guess what you do? Like the scripture says, you revolt more and more, man. That's why there's no remedy for you. There's no talking to a bonehead nigga. There's no talking to a fucking Christian. There's no talking to you. You can't reason with these people. So guess what? There's no remedy for you. We ain't, ain't no, ain't no re-education for you. The Lord's right. about to kill you. That's you right. This is Galatians 4 and 16, because these people hate us at the end of the day, like the front of 
disappointed? Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Right. Uh. This is something that benefits you, but yet you hate us for telling you about it. You know, this is this is the gospel, good news. But you hate us for telling you what's real. And Jake always talking about keep it real, right? Jake's right. full of shit, man. He don't want to. He really don't want uh, us to keep it real. Cause if you know better, yeah. you gotta do better, man. Yeah, exactly. They don't want to live up to that standard because it's a certain standard that That's you got to live up to in the truth, man. Being a man of the Lord. Just like when you go into the high priest, they had to do, they had, it was a certain standard. They had to do certain things, man. And if they didn't do it right, then it was, it, it, could, it could very well cost you your life, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't, you couldn't eat the shoe bread. Only the priest, if yeah. we, only the priest could eat the shoe, show bread, man. Right. Certain but you know, the Lord made an exception for David. But yeah. that's just showing you how, you know, it's a certain set, standard set when you when you serve in your house by Shemar Shah, the right way. You got to be Oh, no, I was going to say, like, it's uh, the priests, they can only, uh, it was only for them to do certain things, like, yeah. when it came to the Ark of the Covenant and yeah. things of that nature, because they, Cause were, I joined, believe, they were joined into the Most High. Because I believe somebody touched, did somebody touch the Ark of the Covenant and they died? Yeah, somebody, I forget yeah. who it is. Was somebody like, touched the Ark of the Covenant uh, and they, they died. They, they dropped dead, yeah. Uh, the Most High killed them. Right, because it, it's it's a certain way the Lord does things, man. Right. He does things very particular. And if you do, if you go outside of that, then you subject to die. Just like that man that worked on the Sabbath. I believe he was picking up sticks or something like that. He picked up sticks. What the Lord said. Stone him. Put him to death. The Lord wasn't playing. A con. And it's so old family. It's a, a cursed thing. Yeah. Hey, all, everything had to die. If his dog had to die. Hey, man, that's... That's why we need your house shot, man. Because yeah, right. if when it comes down to the law, when you camps that say law, 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 man, we we guilty, man. We'll be dead. Everybody yeah, exactly. will be dead. We can't, we can't, we can't keep that perfect, man. Right. But you know, I'm not gonna get, in, get into that some other lesson for another time. Right, exactly. Because you know. yeah, them deep waters right there. Yeah, I yeah, just want to elaborate on what you just said earlier about yeah. uh, the man that uh, talked talked to us. He thought he was doing the right thing when it was when it was fouled. And yeah. he tried to catch it. Yeah. Just like some of these jakes today. They think they're doing the right thing, but hey. I wouldn't have touched it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, it commandment, you got to obey it. Uh, right. Uh, no matter uh, what. Uh, right. 35, yeah. And the law was executed back in the day, man. Oh, yeah. You had that. Really it's going to go back to that. That's yeah. right. Back to that. but that's, why, that's why a lot of people now these days just, you know, do whatever the fuck they want because. Do as thou will. There's no judgment. The right. law is slack. Have a cook one and four. The law is slack. Right. Right. But he saw I want to uh, be a, a servant of the Most High. You got it, brother. Start at verse 1. Yes, 35 1. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 35, starting at verse 1. Plead my cause, O your Howell. Right, so who's going to plead our cause? Like, we're going to last week, man. Who's going to plead our cause? Who's going to stand up for the nation of Israel, if not us? Because ultimately, through the Spirit, we are the judges of, of the nation of Israel. Not these damn devils, man. That's right. Because they're not going to do it according to the law. We're going to do it according to what the scripture says. Right. We're not going to go out our own, make our own hearts and all that shit like these devils do. Because if we executed the law in the society, I promise it'll be a lot of you niggas dead, man. Exactly. And, we, and we're going to do according to we righteousness. You know? Yep. Righteousness. We ain't going to butcher it like Esau. He might do something in the law, but he'd be wicked with it. Right. Like he'll take a woman and lead a man to love. Right. And, 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 and break his weight. Right. And then get and thrown back, back to it. Right. To That's it. wicked, man. You must have killed a man, and then when it comes to the spoils of the war, that's order with the most high. That's the righteous way of doing it. She right. got to cut her hair on for like I think a month. Right, right. because she don't belong to nobody then. Once she take away, now she, she's available. Uh -huh. The you, when you deal with it, now she becomes yours. Right. Your possession now. That's but Esau is the wicked one. He's the wicked one. That's right. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 35, starting from the top. Plead my cause, O you have it with them that strive with me. And who's striving against us? These these elites. Ultimately, they they know all our information, man. Mm -hmm. And we ain't hiding, man. Right, we believe right. in the Lord. We out We here. believe in Yahweh Shah. You kill us, the Lord gonna raise us back up, man. Yeah. And that's what we believe. We believe that. Yeah. And that's why we stand out here proclaiming it, man. If I can say it, tell you that in uh, wisdom of Solomon. Our hope is full of immortality, man. Right. You and die, the Lord. You doing us a favor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you kill us, you doing us. We're gonna favor, come man. right back and get you, man. Right. right. It say it say they they um they um 
thought their life to be um without without I don't their life is short and tedious. I know what you're talking oh, about. This know, is uh, wisdom yeah. of Solomon. Wisdom of Solomon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The um, thoughts of the wicked. Let's see if his um power will be um like right. let's see. Let's Which, see if his power will be true. Yeah, we can get that too. Go ahead, man. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 35, starting again from the top. Plead my cause, O Yahweh, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. And who's the one that's laying all these traps? Who's laying, who set up a system of a, a system of oppression? This so-called white man. Which you know, they claim that they're they're innocent, but ultimately in the eyes of the Lord, they're the man of sin. You know, they're guilty. With all uh, with all charges, they're guilty. You may not be, uh, you may not have us, you may not have us like you used to have us, but I promise you, you benefit off the backs and the slave labor of our ancestors, man. So you can't say that you didn't put us in slavery. You can't say that you didn't do this because it's a generational thing, man. You know? Because you're guilty of all charges. Go ahead, bro. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 35, starting at verse 2. You found it yet? Yeah, I got what I'm looking for. Take hold of shield and buckler, and stand up for mine help. Uh-huh. Draw out also the spear, and stop the way against them that persecute me. And Esau is our top persecutor, man. He's the one that's on the media bashing, bashing the so-called Hebrew Israelite movement, which we're not black, you know. But of course Esau is gonna try to put us to put us uh in a bad light to be so-called terrorists, you know? Cause that's what the devil does, man. He's a liar. He's a slander. Man. It's nothing new. Go ahead, brother. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Right, and that's what. I, how about shot? It's our salvation. You can pause that real quick. You got it, brother. I just had this quick one, and on um, Wisdom of Solomon, some. chapter, yeah, yeah, chapter two, verse, you come back to that. verse twenty-two. It says, "As for the mysteries of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, they knew not." Neither hope, neither hope they for the for the wages of righteousness, nor discarded a reward Can you jump up real quick? for the blameless souls. Can you jump up? Like, to which one? Forget. It says, uh, "Let us see if his words be true." Yeah, verse already... seventeen. Come, the water, brother. This is on um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter two, verse seventeen. It says, "Let us see if his words be true." Uh -huh. And let us prove what shall happen in the end time of him. Right, so these devils, they want to prove to see if the Lord really going to do what he said he's going to do. Because, of course, they got they, they in their right mind. They're cornerly minded. They don't understand the things that are, the things that are written in the scriptures. They're not spiritual men. They're that's cornerly right. minded men. Yeah. You know, they, they, <laughs> that's that's going to be the worst thing they can do, though, man. Because, hey, they, these elites, they scrambling try to get a uh, new world order popping because they see the chariots right but hey that scripture that's going to play out because they're going to hey the most high going to use those devils to put us to the test like with this whole psycho thing coming into play man right some of us going to get snatched up and, and hauled off in them camps and our faith is going to be tied right. right but that's at the end of the day that's going to be the worst thing they can ever do but if we keep the faith though if we keep the faith and uh, uh, we sincere and we rooted really ground it and we really believe Right. Then the most high gonna uh, deliver us, man. That's right. right. You can't go in there fearful hearted. Right. They said the scriptures say, "Woe well, unto um, that be faint hearted, man." Right. Right. You know, We're man. gonna have to believe, man. Hey, hey, hey! The most high is is giving us a, a um. He right. stirred up our our pure minds by the way of um, remembrance. It said the things that was written before time was written for our learning, right. that us through um patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope entering into these times, man. So entering into these times, we're gonna think back on the scripture. You know, a scripture I, I, I always like to think about is um Corinthians, um ten, um thirteen and ten, I believe, 10 or and ten and thirteen. God, you know what I'm saying? Because the Lord ain't gonna put us through nothing that we can't handle, man. So whatever He put us through, you know, we going through, or, or we get put in the concentration camp, or we get put in the guillotine, we know that we can handle it, man. You know, and the scripture say we live, we come back every three or four generations. So we don't know how we um, got put to death our last um, lives, man. You know? Back
back in on Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse um, 18. It says, For if the just man be the son of Yahweh, talking about the elect, go ahead. he will help him. Right. And hey, hey, look, look what the Lord did to um, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, man. Right. When they when they was faced with that um, big oven, man, be, being thrown in a big oven, you think they um, feared, you know, um, Nebuchadnezzar, man, and bowed down to, to him, man, and they knew it was an idol? No, man. They kept the faith, man. And, and they was the son of the, uh, they was the son of the Most High, man. Yahweh by Shemal Shai. You know, they was they was children of the Lord, man. They served the Lord and the Lord delivered them, man. Right. They said is, even if the Lord didn't didn't deliver them, they still were gonna do it. Right. Oh. And the scripture says nothing new under the sun. So what happened in the past is gonna happen in the future, man. Right, we gotta we just, have that mentality. Right. We just gotta keep the faith in the Lord, man. And the scripture say the Lord is a rewarder of them that um Dude, diligently seek, seek him, man. Right. That, like the scripture says uh, in the book of Job, it says, though he slay me yet, will I put my trust in him? That's right. Because right. if we can't trust in the Lord, who the hell are we going to trust in? Huh. Right. Even if the Lord put us to death, because the scripture says the Lord sanctions death. Right. right. That's right. Even if he put us to death, we still going to trust him. And right. the Lord sanctions when a sparrow falls to the ground, man. Yeah. You know? And he controls it all, man. True. He say, um, don't fear, don't fear um, man right. that man. can just kill the yeah, body. The body. Huh. But rather fear him that's able to kill both body and soul, man. And you know, he can torture you. He can leave us in this body yep. if we don't do what he say, man. Like you gonna do with those missiles? Right. You gonna leave there a lot of people's spirit. You know, this is burning. Why they alive, man? Why they alive? Yep. It says he will help. He will help him and deliver him from the hands. Of his enemies, right? And these these elites, they understand this. They know that the Lord will do this, but ultimately, they don't have the spiritual eyes to see that the Lord is gonna do it, man. That's right. Because they're cornerly minded. They don't understand. So they're gonna try to prove us to see if the Lord gonna do what He say He gonna do. You got it, brother. It says, "Let us examine Him with um dis what's that disrespect? This despite I think it's despite for spitefulness. Yeah, despitefulness." It says, and torture, and torture, uh -huh. that we may know his meekness. Right, so they're going to try us, man. Like the scripture says, our face will be tried. Right. These devils going to try to put us through it, put, it, put us through the ringer, man. But ultimately, right. we got faith in the Lord, so we ain't got nothing to worry about, man. Uh -huh. Whatever this devil coming with, fuck it. Right. We got, we got Yahweh by Shemuel Shot. Right. He delivered men out of a burning fiery furnace. Daniel. He, he, he fed Daniels in a lion's den, you know. And he closed and so he closed the lion's mouth, man. Yep. So they probably was they was you know they was hungry, they ain't ate and they starved yeah. the lions out. Yeah. So when they whenever That's they right. throw whatever in there is they devours them. Wow. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So hey, hey, a power that can do that, man, that is a power to be feared. And that's our power, man. Right. You know, who don't want to come back to a power like that that's right. able to do such things, man? Man, you know? wanna come out of a rock among right. many things. Go ahead, man. It says, um, and and prove his patience. That's that word patience goes back to suffering. So these devils, they want to see how much we can suffer. Believing in Yahweh Shem Shah. But ultimately, the Lord is going to put a very strong spirit on us, man. You know? That's why we believe we, we're stocking up on faith. So in that, when that day comes, we ain't wavering. We right. ain't in that word. You know what I'm saying? We got a we got a solid, straight mindset. We believe in Yahweh Shem Shah. Praying to the Lord, and that's why the scripture says, "Pray without ceasing." Right. What happened when Peter was delivered up in, in prison? They was the church was constantly praying for him. And what the Lord do? He sent the angel to get him out of there. So even if we dealt was to be up in the camps, you know the Lord might say, "You pray to the Lord to deliver you." The Lord may send an angel, as right. long as it's according to His will, you know. But we gotta believe in Yahweh. So that's the point, man. You know. It says, "Let us condemn him." With a shameful death. Right, and that's what they plan to do. They want to put us in a the guillotine. They might, they might uh, put us in a, 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 a furnace. They, they, this devil has plenty of ways to try to put us to death, man. To put us through the ring. To, you know, to, to put that fear upon us. Right. Because yeah. they ain't gonna be able to do shit that the Most High don't let them do. Exactly. And the Most High ain't gonna let us just get jacked up any right. type of way, man. Might kill your kids in front of you. Right. right. Going you to. Uh, Wanting you to fold, man. You just gotta believe. 
Give me all about Shmuel and Shah. Right. At the end of the day, man, believe in the Lord, man. That's right. All the torture techniques that they use against the Michael Beach brothers, each one of them still stand and stand in, you know. They stayed faithful to the end. And right. then uh, on top of that, they understood that they was going to be resurrected. That's right. right. I got a quick precept. This is uh, Sirach 4 and 28. Mm -hmm. Strive for the truth unto death, mm. and the Lord shall fight for thee. Right. So strive for the truth unto death. Until you, unless you your, your last breath, man. We got to fight. We got to fight, man. Because the Lord wants, he want, we, we're a part of his army. Right. We, can't, we can't be out here without our, without our, wep uh, without our weapons. And without our, um, our, our shields and stuff, man. Right. Our armor, yeah, water. I was, I was searching for it. I just couldn't find it. We, got, we can't be in the battlefield without our armor, which is the, the scriptures, man. That's right. You know, because this devil going to come with everything he got. It's his, it's his, last, it's his last hurrah. So this devil going to come hard, man. That's right. He's going to come down real hard. Mm -hmm. That's why the scriptures say the enemy should come in like a flood. Right. right. This devil going to come down hard, man. Hey, we already seen it, man. All these false flags. You know, all these, um, we are not ignorant of Satan's devices. Yeah, all that shit going on in, in, in the NY. The, um, that mall yesterday at, um, mall shooting in South Carolina. Yeah, gun. And it, and, and, the, and Jake is being the face of, of terror, man. Yep. Yeah. We're the, so, new, we're the new boogie, man. But that's Esau, um, using those, um, the play on, you know, as you know. media. You know, and that's, hey, but it's gotta happen, brothers. And so for you true and sincere brothers out there listening, hey, listen what the Spirit said for to you, man. Hey, fear not, man. Hey, right. hey like the brother just got, scribe for the truth on to death, man. Right. These scriptures you know? got to be in your heart. Right. In the time of tribulation, you got to remember these scriptures, man. And it's all we have, man. This is all we have, man, is the scriptures, man. Yeah. You know, Yahweh by Shemal Shah has told us, Yahweh Shah told us everything, man, that he knew. You know, we just got to hold fast to it. That was it on that? Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm back in this Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 20. Yeah, it says, nah, it says, let us condemn him with a shameful death, for by his own saying, he shall be respected. Go ahead. It says, such things they did imagine and were deceived. Right. That's the, this is the heart of the wicked. They imagine this. They imagine that. They think they're going to accomplish this. They're going to accomplish that. But ultimately, what? The Lord got them in the trip pad. Because we're, we worship the Heavenly Father who is in control of the living of time. He's in control of everything. So that's why we don't worry. We got to believe in Yahweh, but Hashem, Yahweh, shot, man. At the end of the day, when the dust settles, we got to believe in Yahweh, but Hashem, Yahweh, shot, man. That's what we got to do. It's, man, we got to. We ain't got nothing else. What you gonna do? A gun? What you gonna do? Run? You know what I'm saying? We ain't got nothing else but your how about shot and honestly, brothers, that's all we fucking need, man. That's all Excuse my friends, that's all we need, man. Hey, the King David said, the Lord is on my side. What did he say? Psalms 23, right. the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Yeah, because at the end of the day, who gonna help you? Esau? Right. Come on, man. Your family ain't gonna never, help you. Never family. trust our enemy. Yeah, man. man. They, they can go to Esau for the foot. Well, the scriptures say we're gonna go to the wall all things but there's gonna come a time when these things that we at need are gonna be scarce man like food water all that man and he saw us deliberately he saw us deliberately doing all that so we're gonna trust in that end of the day the ones that doing it that's deliberately doing it are the uh, the power that sent him up to do it right. and that can deliver you out of it you gotta believe man you gotta believe man you gonna hey you better trust in the power that set this man up I ain't have him doing these things, but he can deliver you out of it. That's what you better believe in. How about you now, son, man? You know? Right. It says, for their right own wickedness have blinded them. Right, they're blinded. The Lord blinded them by the old wickedness. Because ultimately, the Lord is in control of the left hand side. So he got him in a trick bag, man. Hey, if you really think about it, man, we got the cheat codes in the game, man. That's right. We got the cheat codes. Because with the cheat codes, like Santa Dreads, you can manipulate the game however the fuck you want to do it. Right, right. Make cars fly, get a jet pack, you know what I'm saying? You can fly. Right. Exactly. So we got the cheat codes to the game. It's rigged, man. And yeah. we got to believe, man. At the end of the day, man, it all comes down to belief. Right. Our belief in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to be tested, man. Oh, yeah. And we we, oh. we want to be spiritual jokes. We want to maintain our integrity as long as the spirit of your how about Shemel is upon us, man. That's right. 
and that's the difference between these people out here okay. and us. The spirit of power, the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, man. These people don't got the spirit. But we through the through the grace of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, we have the spirit. And Lord willing, Lord, keep that spirit on us so we'll be able to endure these terrible times that's coming on this earth. Lord mm. willing, brother. Okay. Yahweh is up. It says, you had a precept? Bring it out real quick. I this, still got a lot. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 27, starting at verse 1. The most high Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Right. Whom shall I fear? Right. Well, we don't fear you, devil, man. That's right. Because ultimately what the scripture says, the Lord is the one that puts to death. He bring it down and bring it up, man. You know, you the sword of the Lord. So if the Lord put it, put it, if Esau put you to death, then the Lord did it. <laughs> right. You know, it like like I quoted in Job, though he slayed me, yet will I put my trust in him, man. Because ultimately, we ain't got nothing else, man. We can lose everything. Guess what? We ain't got nothing. All we got is our faith and belief in the, in, in the scriptures. We sacrificed everything for this, man. We it, put our lives on the line for this. If I can say the scriptures say, um, better than the end of a thing than, than the be beginning, man. Right. Following after the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, those men have dedicated their lives to this work. Right. You know? And we're following suit, man. Because we want, we all want that sand, we all want that penny, man. We all we want the kingdom. We want to live. We want to be able to, you know, raise our, you know, see our kids. We want to live forever. We want to actually live. We want to explore these other planets. We want all the things that the Lord promised to us. And we dedicated our lives to this cause, man. And we ready, hey, Lord willing, Yahweh right Tazar, we're ready to die for this truth, man. Hey, the scriptures say death is a peaceful thing, man. Right. Hey, hey, what happened when the uh, Lord was being crucified and they had a guy on the right hand side and a guy on the left hand side and the, and the Lord told one of the guys that believed on him, you're going to be with me this damn paradise, man. So, hey, hey, death is a peaceful thing, man. When Esau come to get us, man, the scriptures already say we dead all the day long, man. Yeah. We died when we came into this truth, man. We don't, we don't. We don't, we don't, like, like, we ain't intact with the world no more like that. We right. don't be with our families no we more. We don't, we don't do nothing. Like, we, we just not in tune with everybody, man. That's right. right. That's why the scriptures say forsake. You got to learn to forsake these things, man. Right. Sacrifice, man. The Lord, you're against all this, man. You're against the world. It's, the scriptures say the enmity, uh, with, uh, the love of the world is enmity with the most high. Right. Meaning he hates this world, so we got to hate it. Hate the evil, love the good, right? That's what we commanded to do, man. Hate it on to death. I got a quick precept since you mentioned um, we had peace, right, with death. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the Most High who gave it. So the Most High, he puts life in us, man. All right, the spirit of life. The spirit that quickens, man. We're made alive, man. First and foremost, everybody got to have a spirit for the body to operate, but it's a it's a different type of spirit, too, when it comes to knowledge, wisdom, understanding. The, the breath of life, which is the uh, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, right. it's going to be bestowed on as a lake, man. And that's what we want while we are uh, living, man. You know, we don't want to just be out here living because you can be living and dead at the same time like these niggas out here, man. They don't have no hope, man. All right? So they don't have the breath of life. Right. They out here worshiping East. And, and having no hope, that's deadly, man, because right. that'll cause you to take the MOTV, man. Having no hope in your how about Shemel Shai. I got some real quick, Yama. And then that brother still has something that right. I go back to me. So, Lucky, this is the book of John, chapter 11, verse 25. It says, Yahweh Shai said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth Ooh. in me, though he Though he were dead, yet shall he live. Right. Mm. First, so, oh, I yeah, so oh, we got one more. Oh, go ahead. One more. This is verse 27. It says, And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Right. Believest thou this? So, hey, like you said, brother, hey, it comes down to belief. It comes down to faith. You got to believe in Yahweh shall to live, man. Right. You can't just say you believe and you don't go out Stop. and do the work. Believe. You don't keep the commandments. Right. You don't do nothing that's pleasing to Yahweh by Shemel Shah like these other Israelite groups, but they think they live and they think the Lord is with them, man. No, man, don't work like that. They still dead while they so-called live, man. Even if they know they Israelites, man, they still dead, all right? 
because they don't really have that breath of life. They ain't teaching the doctrine that, uh, uh, from our apostles, man. Right. And the scripture says also that the Lord loveth none but those that dwell with wisdom. Right. Exactly. And that's going to be the elect, man. Lord willing, with some of those men. Huh. I was there, brother. Yeah. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 27, starting again from the top. The Most High Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Mm. The Most High Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Right, the Lord is the strength of our life. Because without the Habashinav Shah, we'd be dead. Right. What gives us strength? The spirit and power of Habashinav Shah. The Holy Spirit gives us strength. It drives us to come out here. Mm -hmm. You know? The Lord yeah. put it in our hearts. This, this word is embedded in us, man. It's a part, it's become a part of our DNA, man. You know, this word is our DNA. This truth is our DNA, and it's our reasonable service to be out here doing this, man. We love doing this. That's right. Coming out here, proclaiming the name of the Lord, um, teaching Yahweh Shemel Shah, pushing the name. We love doing this, man, because we dedicated our lives to this. We've learned to love Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. Right. You know? Come back to him, man. Right. As the scriptures say, turn back, old oh, backsliding children. Right. Saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, man. That's our that's our husband, man. Right. You know, right. this is our first love, man. So it's a it's a right blessing on. for the most high to allow us to come back to this thing in this damn time, man, and to have this wisdom. I got a quick precept. This is on um, Jeremiah 5, starting at verse 13. It says, and a prophet shall become wind, and the word shall not Thus shall it be done unto them. Wherefore, thus said the Lord, power of hosts, because ye speak this word, behold, I will make my words and thy mouth fire, and thy people, and this people would, and it shall devour them. So Jeremiah, he can't, he can't hold the word, man. He Burn said, because he made a statement that ain't gonna prophesy, man. The hell with it, man. Israel rebellious. But hey, he couldn't help it, man. But, hey, that fire got in Jeremiah, he had to go out and, and tell Israel about themselves, man. Scripture says the, the Lord, you know? where the Lord was burning in his heart. Yeah, come. And believe. that's how we be sometimes. You know? Right. <laughs> it be burning, man. Yeah, we be on a regular day, man. And yeah, just, somebody say some bullshit, you just be burning on the inside. Yeah, I know. We just start going into the scripture, man. Like they bring up, um, yes. You know that Zell can kick in. Right. Like a nigga woman said, y'all took my kids Easter egg, honey. Huh? You just... That that's an example of that fire being in you. That which mm -hmm. that is the right spirit to be in. Because right. we know um all that shit is bullshit. And right. the most high hates it. So we gotta hate it, man. Right. Yep. You know? Yep. We gotta be on and, and one with the uh, Yahweh by Shah. That's right. Just brother. like the father and the son is one, man. Meaning they in agreement. Right. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 27, starting at verse 2. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. And that's what's going to happen, man. Like the scripture says, Esau set a trap for us, but the scripture says he's going to fall on his own trap. Go ahead. Though an host should encamp against me, his stormtroopers. That's how he gonna come. He gonna come with a lot of numbers. Yep. Go ahead. My heart shall not fear. We can't be scared of that, man. Because who's on our side? Remember he listened when he was on that, where he was going against those, I forget who he was going against. I believe it was a king where he listened yeah. and his servant was with him. And he and the Lord opened his, his servant's eyes and he seen all the chariots that was around him, man. Yep. You know, he listened, understood that the Lord is with me, man. It's, it's, it's what he said, uh, there are more with us than with them. Mm -hmm. That's what we ought to believe. Esau can bring a thousand troops. Guess what? The Lord will have way more angels there ready to protect you, man. Hey, all the most I can just put a, a just deadly ass fan on you. Samson, yep. a jawbone yep. of an ass, man. Yep. Slew what? A thousand, a thousand troops? And, and that takes a lot of energy. A yeah. jawbone you know, of an ass? You know, you, you know, normal jacks in the boxing and the UFC world, they'd be tired as hell, man. Oh, yeah. right. But imagine Samson going against a thousand men. Armored, sword, armored, armored and everything. It's just yeah. a jawbone of an ass. And, 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 after, and afterwards, it said that he, that he had to, he had to drink some water to get the spirit back in him. Man, yeah, he was no. exhausted. Yeah. Almost to the point of death, man. That's how tired he was. Go ahead, brother. Though war should rise against me, 
In this will I be confident. Right, go ahead. One thing I have, I desire of the most high your hour, that, that will I seek after, uh -huh. that I may dwell in the house of your hour all the days of my life, uh -huh. to behold the beauty of the most high and to inquire in his temple. And we're gonna do that in the kingdom of heaven, man. Because right. we're gonna be back one with your house by Right. We're gonna that meaning we're gonna be on the same page. Go ahead. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his provision. Right. He, the Lord's gonna hide us, man. You know, these devils gonna come. He, they, we on that red list, man. We are, we are top priority. We're a top target. For the elites. He saw can't have that claim. We're a, top, we're a top priority for the elites, man. You know? They want to get rid of us. They think that's going to stop what the Lord has spoken. But it's not going to do anything, man. It's going to help further the uh, the prophecies. Go ahead, brother. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. Right. And right now we're dwelling in that secret tabernacle. Because guess what? Everybody can't be a part of this work. That's right. Everybody can't be a part of this ministry. Mm -hmm. Because the spirit of the Lord is what draws you in. And if the spirit don't draw you in, then you're not a part of it. So we already in that secret place. It's going to be even more secret in a time of tribulation and time of Jacob's trouble. When there, there ain't no damn protection out here. Women out here getting fucking raped. Rabbit. Men probably getting fucking raped. These yep. troops in the streets, patrolling the streets. Because these cities going to be locked down. Oh, yeah. Hey, the man. highways are going to be hot down, locked down. You ain't going to be able to get on 75, 95. All this shit going to be locked down. If I can right. say, look look at you, look at them Ukrainians, man. They never expected to be getting their houses raided. Um, women yeah, raped. Um, all oh, that. Right. Women yeah. raped, yeah. kids raped. Yeah. And it was, it's, it's going down over they there, on man. They're the raping street over there. That's by what they own, do, and then it's all, all, all by their own people. Right. right. It's going down over there, man. So how much more, if it's going down over there, it's, it, it, everything is always just a domino effect, man. Right. That's right. going to come here, man. Why people, hey, and them Ukrainians is living... Just like how the Americans live in, man. Yeah, that Not was no, all good. It was right. all peace and safety. That's right. But well, they yeah, always yeah. try the other countries and the other lands before they come into America because, it's you know, that's through the here. spirit because the Most High is saving the best for lands, right. which right. is America, man. They people always bug out. Man. These, these people, people, these people are fearful. Ooh. These people are fearful. They're going to bug out. They get scared. They're going to fucking yeah. rope. They sat on yeah, They get scared to hit a gunshot. I see the video. I seen a video of a Jake who came up and shot the dude, and the woman, she just ran and left the child. Well, I mean, that's a, that just shows how. That's our action, man. Just a, and that's how, and you know what they say, the ones that panic, they die first, man. Yeah, exactly. And you know? these women all out here. They're going to be in sad cases. That's how video. Taking that they don't need no man. But you say, you say it's all it takes is one gunshot. What are these women going to do? Ah, no, no! Screaming and running. It's got like roaches, right? man. But they all proud at this stuff. Just wait to all hell break loose, man. It's gonna be funny, man. It's gonna be funny as hell, man. I saw a video of a nigga thought he saw a spider coming down. That nigga was scared as hell. Ooh. Nigga got scared as hell. Fucking spider. All it takes is one shot. Right. These people had a quiver between their legs. Go ahead, brother. That's more. Where's that all? Leave Was that it? I'm still in this wood from the south. This. That was it? It was at verse 2. Try verse 2. Try 2 or 3. Oh, it may be okay. 4. Four. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 27, starting at verse 4. One thing have I desired of the Most High, that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of Yahweh all the days of my life, uh -huh. to behold the beauty of the Most High, and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. Mm -hmm. In the secrets of his tabernacle, shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. So, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is our end. Yahweh Bashem is our salvation. We depend on him, man. Right. And we're going to depend on him very heavy. We're going to look for him. We're going to pray to his name. You know That's what I'm right. saying? Not no God, no Jesus Christ. We're not praying to Allah, Buddha, all this bullshit. We're not praying to those names. We're going to be in that time when we ain't got no food. We ain't ate in about probably a day or two or whatever the case may be. Whatever situation you're in, we're going to have to believe in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. We're going to have to pray to the Lord like, Lord, you know, Scripture. You, remember, you said Scripture ain't going to do this, do this. You know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta be in the mindset. We got to depend on Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. We got to believe. 
what the Lord has said in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. The scripture says in the book of Isaiah that uh, my servant shall eat, man. So we gotta believe that. That's gonna happen. Whether you believe it or not. Got some more? Oh, that was it. Book of Psalms, chapter 27, verse 6. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemy round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. Mm -hmm. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Most High Yahweh. And that's what we're doing through the Spirit of all y'all by Shemel Shah. We're going to be giving praises to the Lord when he actually accomplishes his word. And we're going to see the divine intervention in these last days. A lot of people don't understand. They don't see the light. You know what I'm saying? But in the time when the, when the scripture says, thy people shall be willing and that they're thy power, they're going to see the light then. They're going to understand it then. They're going to see what's up. That we, we the true power of the Bible is Yahweh, the Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. Right. You got him? It ain't Jesus Christos or Jesus Christ. There should be a lot of them too. <laughs> right. Uh, you guys, can you uh, go back to Psalm 35? Why that? Why that? Why that? Shout out to one and all the Arkham on the comic board. We're going to start from the top and start from verse 4. Start from, start from where you left off. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 35, starting at verse 4. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned it back and brought to confusion that devise my hurt. And Esau devises our hurt, man. He wants to kill us. That's why the, that's what it's all about. He wants to put a um put the MOTB in you, to control you. Right. To have to be uh to be we want to be godlike. Like it says in the belief the book of Ezekiel, he has a godlike complex. Right. And that's what he's gonna accomplish with that MOTP. Okay. He'll be on the so-called level of, you know, Yahweh Bashmel Shah to a certain degree or to his bullshit ass technology. You know, it imitates the power of Yahweh Bashmel Shah to a certain degree. Because the Lord's power is unlimited, man. You know? This devil will never be on that level. Right. Go ahead. Let them be as chaff before the wind. Go ahead. And let the angels of the most high Yahweh. Chase them. What? The angels gonna do what? Chase them. Right, so the, the Lord gonna have his angels out here to protect his men. Believe that. The scripture says his angels camp and ground about them that trust, that, that fear him. So how much more in the time of tribulation? Right, Go ahead, brother. Let their way oh, be dark got, and slippery. You got a precept, brother? Yeah, I had. I was holding it out of Zechariah 14. We went to the rape, you know, what's coming. You get that real quick. Oh, All right, this is um, Zechariah 14 and 1. It says, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, and our spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee. Uh -huh. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled, and the women ravaged. And that's a lot, that's the ain't gonna happen in these last days. It's already happened. When lawlessness abides, women get raped. That's just how it is. Yep. You know, that's just how it is. Esau's law. Well, that's lawlessness. Yep. Let me get ready. Protect them. That's why they all walking around all gadding abroad and thinking everything's sweet. Yes. It says, um, and the women ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. That's all about the thing. A lot of us don't be protected, man. If we, you know, if we fear the Lord. The Lord is with us, man. We, we're going to be the rest of the men of the elect, man. Okay? Why the, the rest of you people, you're going to get jacked up out here, man. All right? You're going to be um, hauled in uh, FEMA camps, concentration camps, things of that nature, man. And you're going to be tortured, man. Even though some of us got to go in there, you know, we're going to be tried, but the Lord going to deliver us out of that too, man. You know? Okay. Like he, um, he had an angel deliver Peter out of prison. Right. You know? Um, Habakkuk. You know, he was in the line. He was in the um, what the line? He was in a totally different reason. No, he was in a totally different reason. He didn't even know what uh, what I believe Babylon was. Yeah, Daniel was in the lines then, and Habakkuk, you know, sent them food, things like that. You gotta, you gotta um, really believe in, man. Like the scriptures, what the scriptures say, man. Right. And the Lord can do it for you, man. Right, because the nope. scripture, it's not a hard thing for the Lord to do. Is that just like when Moses, when the Lord told Moses that the Lord was gonna, he was gonna send quails. A lot of flesh for the children of Israel to eat in the wilderness. Moses didn't believe it at first. 
And then most of the, the Lord got mad. Like, is this too hard for me? Cause uh that's when Jake, that's when Jake was in the wilderness and there was there was desired flesh. So the Lord sent a lot of quails to I got it. Yeah, I got it. On what you said, it ain't nothing possible. It's Luke 1 and 37. For, the, for with the most high, nothing shall be impossible. There you right. go. Nothing is impossible. Damn, he's soft, man. <laughs> that dog got demons on him. <laughs> no. Belong to a human. Probably fucking that dog. But, um, here we go. Uh, scripture says. You read that again, Bob Kasha? Luke 1 and 37. For with the most high, nothing shall be impossible. Right. So nothing shall be impossible to us, man. Anything is possible to us. The Lord might give us spiritual powers. Spiritual powers to heal people. You know what I'm saying? The Lord might make it rain angels, manna from heaven. The Lord might have you set up, man. You're in a good case in these last days. When it comes down to the tribulation. We're gonna be eating. We're gonna be in good case. Why? Because we stacked up, stocked up on faith in the name of Yahweh Hashem Shah, shot, man. You know. So through the Lord, we're gonna be able to, to accomplish any damn thing, man. And it's right. not a limit that you you can't put a cap on the Lord's power. No, it's exactly. It ain't no limit to His power. Unlimited power source. Man. Like you had um a, a record called No Limit. Yes. Yeah. Remember it was no hey, hey, he ain't hot we no the more. real No Limit soldiers, man. <laughs> he ain't hot no more. So there's a limit on carnality. Right. It's a it's an unlimit on immortality, man. It's no limit on immortality, but there's a limit on carnality. See that? So you can't put it no hard in this world, man, because there's a limit on this place, man. You got a cap on this place, all right? Yeah, That's that, true. Yeah, that really is true. Because our uh -huh. spirits are made to be. We are uh, the Lord is eternal. You know what I'm saying? Right. The Lord lives forever, and He created us to be just like Him. Right. Right. Yep. That was it on that? Alright. Back in his wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse, verse 22, says, As for the mysteries of Yahweh, they knew them not, neither hope, neither, neither, ha, what's that? Ha, hope. Yeah, hope. They for the wages of righteousness, nor, um, discern a reward for the bank for the blameless souls which we are those blameless souls we we want to remain blameless well you know what i'm saying because we want to keep our integrity and not go astray or go straight from the way the lord wants us to go right and his devil wants us to go straight he wants us to you know he wants us to fall from our hope in the lord but we, uh, through the spirit of power y'all will smash our lord will we don't man y'all right. is on we continue to fight until the very end, until our last breath. Right. Even if they kill every, every, every last one of our family members. Yeah. Whoever, man. <laughs> to the best of their ability. Bro. Because we understand that we're going to see them again, man. Right. Exactly. And, we, and this time, we ain't going to have to worry about them dying again. Right. right. And you know? the Lord said he's going to give us a hundredfold. Exactly. Right? We're going to get them back anyway. But those Everything who are doing it. Right. So we understand that. But Esau don't. He's a corner little man. He, he had not fear death. Right. It says, for Yahweh Bashim al Shah created man to be Im immortal. Right. Going like to what we just said. Yep. Yeah. Spirit. It yep. says, and made him to be an image of his own Im Im immortality. immortality. Yep. Right. He made us to be an image of his own his own immortality on the earth. You know, so because that's exactly what we're gonna experience. We're gonna live forever. Uh -huh. And these other heathen nations gonna see like we living forever. They're gonna be like, they're gonna be praising Yahweh by Shemel Shah too. Cause they gonna fall in line. You know? And if they continue, if they continue down the right way, then they're gonna be blessed. What the Lord told Abraham, of indeed all nations of the all the nations of the world shall be blessed, man. You know? But y'all gonna be under the nation of Israel. Right, they gotta come to us. Right. They're gonna be coming to us for the one all things. Right. Just like we gotta go to their ass. Yep. The tables the are turned. Things. Yeah, it says, nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world. Mm. You know, the snake in the garden, man. He saw. It. it says, and they that do hold of his side do find it. Right. And that's why we want to escape the, the, the ways of this world. Because if you're holding on to the ways of this world, you're going to find death. 
Right. Because this world is a, a, a valley of the shadow of death. Yep. So why follow after this place? Right. It's death. You got obese people, man. You know, <laughs> people got gout. Right. All blood kinds blood. of diseases. I'll keep going for this. I would keep here for chicken. Y'all know how to eat right in America. You don't see that uh, overseas. They have a proper diet, more proper diet overseas. Over here is where you see the most obese and fat people. They don't know how to eat right. Like you said, all these diseases, heart disease and gout, high blood pressure, man. You know, they got more discipline even in these other countries, man. Check my battery percentage. Oh, yeah. So, hey, it, that shows you that this is a, a very... Uh, uh, Society with um, high immor immorals, <laughs> the undisciplined. The elect. And yeah. there shall no torment touch them. Go ahead. It says, and hey, no torment shall touch us, man. Lord willing, we part of the elect, man. Lord willing, we endure to the end. Lord willing, we keep the faith in Yahweh Hashem Al Shah, man. You know, and believe on Him that he, all things are possible, man. Entering into these last days, man, because our faith is about to be tested, man. Can't stress it enough. All these, all these things that's happening, man. They, they're gearing up to come against us that, that we'll do what we do, man. Right, exactly. You know? We ain't doing nothing. We, we work our regular um, nine to fives. <laughs> Look, faith. <laughs> our regular nine to fives, man, come out here and preach the Bible and they hate us, man. Right. So Esau is gearing up to come for us, man, but it's all good, man. You know? All good. Don't worry about it, man. Don't right. don't don't be in that worry spirit. What is me spirit, man? Exactly, man. We got to believe in your heart by Shemel Shah. The Lord coming. Yeah, he said he'd come. He's going to make promise on that. Man. Right. He got to, man. Yeah, he got to. He, he got to, man. He got to cut. Right. He got to do what he say, man. Long as you're doing what he say, he going to aid you, man. You know, Lord willing, we part of the elect. Lord willing, we um, continue to endure and to believe in him, man. Unlike these, right. unlike um, two-thirds of the nation of Israel, they ain't going to have no hope in these last days, man. They don't have no hope now. Right. Exactly. Because when Jesus don't answer the phone, he, he's on the main line. <laughs> yeah, he ain't going to be on the main line in that day. He is. He's going to hear he a, a spiritual. <laughs> right. You know, the operator. I'm sorry. <laughs> but this number is out of service. Whatever hey, the fuck you say. Jesus going to send in the voice, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Because Jesus is a saint. Right. It's always Sodom, man. Hey, it's Sodom, Egypt, man. Right. This is, um... You got that James, 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 22. That's what? James should be talking about. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, verse 2. It says, in the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. And that's what I was pointing at earlier, right. man. You know, hey, we're gonna we're gonna seem to die, mm -hmm. hey, but we're, we 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 know that we're gonna be present with the Lord, man. It said to be absent from the body right. is to be present with the Lord, man. Yahweh Shemel Shai. It's gonna be all dramatic and shit, right? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's gonna just, be dramatic. Just take the chip. Yeah, just yeah. take the chip, and man. It's gonna, it's gonna fool you, simple ass people, but we gonna be in peace, man. Right. 
re yeah. ready to come back and take over this world. Oh, we ain't even got that. Right. Say some shall um stand here that, that shall not taste, taste of death. death. Right. We might not die, man. We might we might just be um we might be um translated, given spiritual power at that very moment because we because we kept the faith. We don't know what's gonna happen, man. Hey, that's the that's the mysteries of your how about Shimei man. Right. The unknown, man, because he didn't do anything, man. Right. If the you believe in him, man. The scripture says you got the faith of the must see. You're moving right. mountains. And that's a small see. ass seed, man. Yep. yep. It says, yep. it says, and their departure wow. is taken for misery. And that's what these people gonna think, man. Oh see, y'all oh, been believing in this, going out there on the on the street corners. I told y'all that wasn't. Come yeah, I told you. you. Yeah. I told you what. I can see my mom now. I told man. you it wasn't I told no you that wasn't about, about nothing. What right. you was doing? I told you though. Now they coming after you. Now, now you on the news. Look at you. You got nowhere to run to. Yep, yeah, exactly. And that's where they gonna scoff people more. Where's your God at? Right. Oh, he, he <laughs> gonna she gonna show you too. Right. Right. Hey, we're gonna be good in that day, man. Why? Huh. Because we showed our faith by Ooh. our works and our works by our faith, man. We're gonna be good in that day, Lord, Lord willing, we endure to the end because the scriptures say, he that shall endure to the, the end, the same shall be saved, man. Right. That's right. So we gotta keep going until the end, man, to our last breath, man, to the Lord come back, man. Right. Well, you know? Can I get this piece up here? Oh yeah, come on, come on. Go ahead, brother. I wanted to bring this point out. This is the book of James, chapter two, starting at verse seven. Bring no, it out. No, it's, it's <laughs> one and uh, two. <laughs> yeah, chapter one, verse two. Inside two. This is the book of James, chapter one, starting at verse two. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Right. So the scripture says, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation, and that's what we 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 expect these things to happen, man. And that's what the scripture says, count it all joy, man. Through the spirit, man. I've been trying to do that for when I'm going through tribulations. You just got a man like call like like y'all from shop, man. Because when the, uh, the apostles, like Paul and Barabbas, when they was getting persecuted for y'all by Shemel, shall say, they got, they rejoiced, man. They was, yeah, man. Hey, we we believe in Yahweh by Shemel, shall man. They knew you know, we we doing. suffering Yahweh, shall I say. Right. Call like like Yahweh, shall I say, man. We got to have that mentality, man. Right. Yeah, and the do. Lord will increase us and give us more strength right. when we have that type of mentality, man. Right. And therefore, we get to a certain level that none of this shit bothers us, man. You know? We'll be, we'll be spiritually nonchalant to all of this shit, death, everything, man. And we'll be cold-hearted and set in faith in Yahweh Hashem Shah so the fact that we're not wavering at all, man. Yeah, exactly. That's what we want to get to that point. And we don't care what, whatever comes with it. And what Jake said in the world, I take whatever comes with this That's shit, right. man. Yeah. We take whatever comes with this truth, man. Right. Yeah, death, sick. persecution, hatred, Fuck that shit, man. Say who right. shall separate us from the love of the most high. Right. right. Exactly. Yep. Shall Nothing. tribulation, Nothing. stress. Man, they were singing and rejoicing after getting getting the brakes beat off them. They're right. still singing and rejoicing. And right. that takes a heavy spirit, because you gotta you gotta you gotta focus on what's more what's more important, man. Mm -hmm. my, my suffering is not important, man. You know? Hey, my belief in, in your how my smell shines what's important. It. it goes into it, man. Right. What you I got. That. We're, we're suffering for Yahweh Shah's sake. That's what it's all about, man. It's all about Yahweh Shah, man. Yahweh Shah. He comes in the volume of the book. You got some more? This is the book of James, chapter 1, starting at verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into the devil's temptation, uh -huh. knowing this, that the trying of your faith works patience. Right, so the trying of our faith works patience. Patience goes back to suffering. So we're gonna go through things and it's gonna work. It's gonna work right with the spirit. It's gonna have us basically prepared, man. You know, we're gonna be ready. We're gonna be set. Go ahead. But let patience have her perfect work. Right. Which go patience? Go back to suffering. Let That's patience right. have her perfect work. What? Be patient, man. You know? We gotta suffer, we gotta we just gotta endure it, man. Because we hey, at the end of the day, the Lord is still gonna be with us, man. Whatever the case be, whatever suffering we want, we just gotta endure it. And continue and, and, and believe in the Lord. Don't you know, don't get shaky. Just stay on that straight gate, man. Don't go to the right, don't go to the left. Stay on that straight gate and stay believing in your heart by Shemel Shine. It'll be well, well with you in the end, man. Exactly. That ye may be perfect and entire. Mm. Right. Don't don't fall into the lust of the flesh. Because Esau gonna want you to do this. He's gonna use this against you. 
He gonna want you to take the MOTB. He gonna use, he gonna try to scare you with the guillotine. He gonna try to put fear in your heart, man. You know, but we gotta, we gotta remember, man, that I, I we gotta keep our eyes single and focus on your howl about shooting out shot, man. You know, we can't let uh, this, the fear, which fear, man, it's, hey, that what you know, what they say? There's nothing to fear but fear itself, man. You know, so we gotta sip. conquer that. You got it, bro. This is all. Because the flesh gonna kick in. Man. I got a quick. This, you know? this is all. Romans 8 and 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Right, and that says everything. The sufferings of this present time are not able to be compared to what should be revealed in us. That shall be revealed. Right. And hey, that's that increase that thine last end, yep. man. That the most high gonna give the men that, that stay diligent in this thing, man. Yep. We're gonna Go be we some of those men. Huh? We're gonna be straight, man. We're gonna be like, man, hey, look, the scripture says this way, it's a light affliction. Like it says, in, actually, you in that actually the same chapter, the Wisdom of Solomon 3. Yep. It says it's a light affliction. You know? So we, we got to keep the mindset of believing in the Lord and continue that truck. Keep trucking. Keep, keep, keep it trucking, man. That was it, brother? Yeah, that was it. That was it on yours? That was pretty much it. Yeah. It says, um, oh, I'm going to get Acts 14, 22. Wisdom of Solomon, back in chapter 3, verse, verse 3, it says, and they're going away from us be utter destruction mm. but they are at peace yep. nah, cause, and when you die you you go to you in peace man. you know that the most i can make your, your death painful you know and, and, and you know you can make it last but when you when you you know, give up the spirit. You you in the spirit world. You in the, another body, okay. and you in your right mind. Yeah, kind. No more pain. Okay. All of this, uh, all of this things over with. All that pain and everything is over with. Right. Oh, yeah. Peaceful thing. Man. Peaceful thing. It says, for though they be punished in the sight of man, yet their hope is full of immortality. Yep. That's what our hope is gonna be in, man. Um, immortality. Believe. Um, hoping that the most high. It's gonna resurrect us, hey, like he did his only begotten son. Hey, hey, hoping for that crown of righteousness yep. to be put upon our heads, man. You know that's what our hope is in, man. Mm -hmm. Hoping for a new body. That's what our hope is in, man. A better everything, man. Right. Everything will be turned up. Way much better for us. <laughs> it says. It says for the for the, it says verse five. And having been a little chastised, a little chastised, and chastened, man. This is a light affliction, you know. We can endure this, man. We can do it, especially with Yahweh Bashem Al Shah on our side. Yep. We can do anything with the Lord on our side. Look what Moses was doing. He was doing. He was doing things that he never thought he would do. The Lord is way behind, beyond our comprehension. We can. We cannot understand the uh, Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, man. It's a, the scripture says it's, uh, it's not as a searcher. Right. His no, ways not are always. not always. Right. His yeah. thoughts are not our thoughts. His yeah. ways, hey, the Lord is the ultimate, man. He's the, hey, that's why he's that's why he's Yahweh by Shana. That's why he's Yahweh. Ancient he's he's omnip omnipotent. Right. You know? He knows all and his comprehension is way above above we can understand, man. Right. But in the kingdom of the Lord, in the kingdom of heaven, we gonna have, we gonna understand. Right. You gotta give us that understanding, yep. man. You're gonna know all things. Yep. But that makes you a God. You know all things. Right. It's, it says, and having been a little chastised, they they shall be greatly rewarded. Right. Them crowns on our heads. Lord willing. That's what we're fighting for. We're fighting for that crown. We're fighting for rulership. We're fighting for life. We making a stand for for, for life, man. That's what we out here. We trying to live. We trying to govern this next world. Right. In righteousness. You know, that's what we fighting for. Because if we don't fight for the kingdom, who gonna fight for it, man? Right. These people out here, they, they ain't fighting for it. So we out here making a stand for the Lord against all lies, man. That's right, that's right. Against everything, against all the forces of evil. We, Hey, the scripture says what? We shall, I shall not fear no evil. Though I right. walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Right. Because I ride and I stab, they comfort me, man. The law that the scriptures comfort us, man. You got it, brother. It says, for God proved them and found them worthy for himself. Right, because we got to go through that fire. Gold and acceptable, gold 
uh, 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 settable men are tried in Salaki. I don't, I don't want to butcher the scripture. Sirach chapter 2. Yeah. I believe it's 10. Yeah, I'm gonna get that real quick, Salaki. I don't want to butcher the scripture. Because we gotta be go, we gotta go through that fire. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2. I'm gonna get to the point. Verse 5, it says, For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of it. Right. That's how you become acceptable, man. You gotta be tried to be yep. accepted <laughs> of Yahweh right. Bashim outside. Right. It, it's going it, opposition is a part of this thing, man. Right. We gotta expect people to come against us. We gotta expect people to hate us, right. to want to put us to death. Mm. But guess what? We rely on the Lord for our protection. Right. So therefore, we're not worried about what they can do to us. If they put their hands on us, then that's a different story. It'd be you know, better spirit, if the millstone was wrapped around their right. neck. Right. The Lord might put a put a put a spirit on you to have a have them whoop their ass, man. Right. But yeah. we don't condone violence. What the Yahweh said, if you survive the serpent's home, it's dug. But when you cross a certain line. Right, the green light can be activated. Right. right. The, the the Lord might put a spirit on you to whoop their ass, man. Yeah, because we ain't no, not to be corner, but we ain't no choir boys. Right. Just because we hold them Bibles. Don't get it messed up, man. Yeah. We don't promote it, but we cross certain boundaries, man. The Lord says, the scripture says, keep thy foot when I come to the house of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah, that was it on mine, but I got another one. Can you get that real quick? Acts 14, 20, 14, 22. This is the book of Acts, chapter 14, starting at verse 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples uh -huh. and exhorting them to continue in faith. Right, the scripture says exhort one another daily. And we and we come out here weekly, do this and daily, you know, putting up videos, exhorting brothers to continue in the faith. No matter what, whatever your life situation going on, fuck all of that, man. All of that shit is irrelevant. Because it, 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 all of these things are going to pass away. Remember what the scripture says. The things that we see are temporal, but the things that are not seen are eternal. So we got to have this truth as our number one priority. That's right, brother. Fuck all of the shit in this world, man. Right, all of that exactly. shit don't mean nothing. That's it's void. Way. It has no weight. It's not going to lead you to immortality. Right. It's not going to give you the kingdom. It's not your woman, not your family, exactly. none of that shit, man. All of that shit is disposable. It's it's it's, it's fucking obsolete. Yeah, exactly. You know? The jobs. Yeah, <laughs> yep, all this shit is obsolete. Go ahead, brother. And that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of your house. Right, so we we gotta go through a lot of shit in order to get to the kingdom, man. So we gotta expect that. Yahweh Shah did went through a lot, man, to the point that he was sweating blood, man. He That's went through it. a heavy tri tri tribulation, heavy trial. Man, spit on them. Oh, that's disrespectful, man. I know. You spit on somebody? Awesome and disrespectful. That's the fighting words, man. Well, but yeah. he took it humbly, man. He it takes to. a lot of integrity, a lot of strength. Because Yahweh Shah had the ability, he could have killed all them people yeah. if he wanted to. Yeah. So that just shows you the humility of Yahweh Shah. And people think he's coming back with all love. Yeah, exactly. Pieces, he came that way okay, the man. first time, man. Uh, like the brother was going in, he was spit on, beaten. That's right. The scriptures say vengeance is in his heart. Right. You think he don't want to pay them motherfuckers back that and, spat on him? And he also said that he could have called a legion, legion of angels. angels right. yeah. But guess what? He, had, he he knew, he understood that he had to do the will of the right. Lord, man. Right. Yep, he had to fulfill prophecy. That's right. what it's all about. But this time, this time around, prophecy is written about him killing shit. Right. So yeah, exactly. he gonna exactly. come in that spirit. We gonna see it, brother. Yeah. We gonna see it, man. So yeah. You saying I will not meet he you gonna as be a man? An angelic time. force. <laughs> it's something that we never, not even okay, Hollywood yeah. can can uh, put to, put together. How Yahweh Shah gonna come? Ooh. It's gonna be way worse than that, man. He's gonna be an angelic force to be reckoned with, man. Because he's he's not coming as a man. I he's not you. coming to talk with you, motherfuckers, man. That's right. It's gonna be straight action. I got, got some. Come on, Isaiah sixty six and fifteen. There you go. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. Them chariots are going to be spitting fire upon you people, man. Like in the old days. Go ahead. And with his chariots, like a whirlwind. so-called UFOs. When them chariots, man, the Lord, the scripture says in the book of Second Entrance, when the Lord opened that bottom of that chariot, he's going to burn you people to powder. Go ahead, brother. It says to render his anger. His anger. He's angry about what happened to him. He's angry about what happened to our people. Because what? The scripture says what? He that touches you touches the apple of the Lord's eye. And the anger of Yahweh is in Yahweh's shot, man. That's right. They are one. They are. They are one in um, agreement. So if the Lord Yahweh's mad, Yahweh's shot's mad at the same thing, man. Go ahead. 
to render his anger with fury uh -huh. and his rebuke with flames of fire. The Lord is gonna, uh, 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 he's gonna rebuke you with flames of fire. Trust me, our rebuke, our reproof ain't nothing. Mm. You, you, y'all people don't even want to hear our reproof right. through the spirit. How you gonna hear y'all size reproof? <laughs> right, he goes. This is gonna be an action, <laughs> not gonna, words. Right. It's gonna be powder out here. It's gonna right. be a lot of people gonna be getting cremated <laughs> right. for the free. Go ahead. It says. For by fire uh -huh. and by his sword uh -huh. will the Lord plead that with word, all flesh. The word plead means to judge. He's going to judge all flesh. Because if you're not right in the spirit, the Lord's going to deal with you. And the slain of the Lord that, shall be many. I wish they stay right there. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. That means the killed of the Lord is going to be many. Right. The Lord is going to kill a lot of people, man. That's right. And that's the reality of it. When he comes with the, that, that fire, man, it's over with, man. Mm -hmm. So you, it behooves you, man. Wake out of your sleep. Y'all need to repent. Turn back to y'all by Shemel Shah while we still have time, man. You know? You was done, brother? Yeah, that was it on that. I got a question. You got it, brother. This is um, Luke chapter 21, verse 22. Something wrong? It says. Oh, no, nah, I was shaking the comment. Okay. It says, for there. For those be, it says, for, for those be the days of all things which are written may be fulfilled. Right, because all the scriptures have to, have to be fulfilled. Everything that's written in the Bible has to be fulfilled. Everything. Yahweh came on the scene to fulfill scripture. You know? So, you know, uh, uh, it's not good. That's the last one about Martial law has to come to pass. Mm -hmm. The destruction of America has to come to pass. Yep. You know, all of these things have to come to pass. That's what I said in my last lesson. You got to want these things too to happen. Because yep. the only way we're going to get out of here if, if these things happen. We're looking for the Lord unleashing, unleashing the light. All hell got to break loose, man. Right. And we're going to be in the midst of it on top of it. We want it to happen, man. We want that. Yeah. When it happens, you know, we're about to get a plan. Thanks, man. You're yeah. tired of working. Yep, yep. You're tired of going through um, yep. this, this fucking Babylonian system way of yeah. everything. Send all these abominations out here. Right. Yeah. Sending our kids to these, these right. wicked ass schools, man. Oh, so man. Learn a, about sodomy. There's a video on um, a brother, the brother in um, North Carolina uploaded, man. It was so vexing, man. By um, a cartoon, they, they trying to um, show, push on kids, man, about it's okay for same sex. There's nothing, no difference between a man, that That's gender crazy, and all that, man. man. Indoctrinating these children. That shit a piece. If y'all can bear it, man, I can send it. I'll send it to you. Oh, yeah, you put it in the group chat, brother. <laughs> yeah, come. That's another reason we embrace the prophecy. Right. Yeah, because, man, we see things like that on the regular, man. Right. That's not, that's not, it's, it ain't right, man. It just, right. just, just, it, this, this, this world is, is so sick, man. Perverse man, it's just so wicked. You know that's why that's why we gotta get the hell up out of here, man. That's why the scriptures say if the Lord don't come back now, shall no flesh be saved, man. We right. see that, man. Cause the world in the monks, this shit, it's not healthy for you. Right? It's not. It really it's not ain't. You, you start doing shit, man, like of the like of the of world. The world. Man. You it's not. It's not. It's not oh, healthy no. for your mental health too, man. Right. Cause your mental health takes a takes a heavy punch, man. Mm. The society, hey. Don't talk about that enough, man. Your mental health. Because yeah. the well and the monks and shit every day destroys, it attacks your mental health, man. Right. It fucks you up in the head. Like, we, we'll be, man, we'll be insane out here, man. Yeah, that's why yeah, you got to The well and the monks and shit. That's why sometimes you have to disconnect yourself from this fucking society, man. Yeah, exactly. Because it, it keep, your, it keep your fucking sanity. Right. right. It's crazy, man. This is back in Luke chapter 21, hopping to verse 26. It says, man's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are come on the earth. Right. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Right. These people are going to faint. They're going to die when they see these chariots, Oh, man. yeah. It's going to give them heart attacks. Mm -hmm. There's going to be so many of them. They gonna, they've they been indoctrinated through Esau thinking that's aliens. Right. But through the spirit, those are the angels, man. Correct. And they're going to be... It's going to be a, a PO point of view, too. Yeah. It's going to be detailed. It ain't just going to like how we see them. It, I mean, they get a frightened if they see it, but it, he going to make it. 
where you you gonna know, man. Right. And it's another thing too. I was dwelling upon like I, when I was driving early today. I seen this big old cloud. Like it, I was I was in my mind. I was trying to make some references. Like if what if that was a cherry? All the wood. It, it'll make you be like, <laughs> yeah, that's a big ass cherry, man. It'll put a little fear on it. Like the scripture says, we shall scarcely be saved because we hope that we be, we be delivered, man. You seen a big ass, massive ass cherry? We never seen nothing like this in our life. And when we see these things, we're gonna be even shooken up, man. The flesh gonna kick in. And they gonna be upset because they gonna realize that they've been lied to. The heart yeah, gonna drop to your ass, man. Duh. When they see them chariots, man. We gonna be a little shooken up too, man. You know? You got it, bro. It says, uh, man's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth and the powers of heaven shall be shaken and then shall they see the Son of Man coming uh -huh. in a cloud so with power and great glory. With power and great glory. Yahweh is coming with power and great, great glory, man. You know? Hey, hey, it was a chime on that. He had to beat the horn. I said, with power and great glory, he beat, beat. the horn, man. Now <laughs> through the Spirit. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, hey, hey, that, hey, the Lord is coming, man. That's right. Oh, yeah, and he's he coming. coming with that power, man. A right. power force like unlike we never seen before, man. Hey, what, what, hey, man, just a hey, wrecking shot, man. That's why we hoping that we we some of those men, man. That's why we fight, man. You know, we all in this thing, we fight, man. That's why we out here on the highways and byways right about now, man, fighting. It says, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when those things begin to come to pass, then look up uh -huh. and lift up your hands because your, your, hands, because your re redemption draws nigh. Right, our redemption is near, man. The Lord is going to come redeem us, man. He's going to come take us away from this place. You know, we're going to be straight very soon. So we ought to keep our eyes to the skies, man. Eyes to the skies. Because the Lord's chariot's gonna be returning very soon. Huh? We're gonna see how shot coming on that big chariot. Like the scripture says, he's gonna be coming from the west to the east, man. No, from the east to the west. You know, like the scripture says, as lightning flashes from the east to the west, so shall be the coming of the Son of Man. So we gonna be waiting for this, man. We anticipate, we look forward to this day. The Lord gonna come and wreak havoc upon this person, man. That's right. And we want to be delivered. We don't want to be a part of that destruction. Yeah. Because the scripture says the day of evil is for the wicked, man. It's not for the righteous. And that's why we're doing these works. And we believe in it. We have the faith y'all much in our Hey. That's right. This is um, Zechariah chapter 3, verse 5. No, chapter 4. No. Zechariah chapter Ah, verse one. It says, "Then I, then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying robe." So he, um, Zachariah looked up and he seen a so-called chariot in the shape of a robe. It says, "And he said unto me, What seest thou?" Uh -huh. And I answered, "I see a flying robe." dark-skinned man, man. so-called black man right it says and the length thereof 20 cubits and the breath plate thereof 10 cubits so it was a very big cherry man right huge man right just like you know you see a plane away up in the sky in the atmosphere in the heavens it looks small but if it gets closer it's very big man right and those chariots be way up there a beautiful example man hey that's how the chariots gonna be man when they up up close and personal, yep. man, they're gonna be huge as hell, man. Yep. You know, geared with all type of um, you know, just just you know, just type of powers, different colors, different forces. Like it's just gonna be just amazing, man. They you be know? different colors too. Right. And it's gonna put it's gonna put chills on you people, man. Because right. you never Weird. seen the type 
of vehicles that the most I have, man. Up close and personal, man. Y'all see them when they far away, but the Lord is about to allow them to be up close and personal, man. You know? Hey, which the government already bought it out, man. The chariots, the so-called UFOs, man. Which they right here in the Bible, man. Had the Bible tell you what they are, man. You know, but you people are so naive and, and think y'all know it all. Don't want to listen until it's too late, man. Right, if exactly. You think about it, man. Yeah. We're really ants. Huh? Like, we're really ants. Yeah, yeah. We're, right. we're very small. Hey, the you know Lord called us worms and yeah. grasshoppers, man. We're, come. We're yeah. very small, man. But you got Jake out here being proud and shit. Man, These women especially. We're, we're small. We're puny, man. Right. The Lord can stump us. We worms. He called us worms. Right. If a worm go too far from the soil and get out in the sun, but go too far from the soil, he liable to get eaten hey, by a bird yeah, yeah, burn birds, up. Like yeah, they... Yeah, they're, 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 they're very vulnerable, man. That's right. right. A worm is very vulnerable and susceptible to death. Right. And just to get, he's a he's a prime example. A worm is a prime example of a prey. Right. That's the epitome of a prey, oh. man. You know? That's it. A uh, bird, bird can just, like you said, a bird can just come and snatch it up and have it for lunch. Man. Right. Well, you actually get to crawl into an ant pile. Right, so, right, right. So, so why, yeah, do you, why are these people so proud? Like, yeah. you women, why are you so fucking proud, man? Yeah, we're really, we're very small, man. Compared to the Lord, man, we're very small. Right. That's why we ought to be humble, man, because we ain't nothing. Right, we ain't, man. We really ain't. That's why he said the pride of these people, the, um, these powerful people are going to be stubble, man. They're going to die. You got it. It says, um, verse 3, and it says, Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stilleth, he saw he stole his land. Right. Shall be cut off as on this side, according to it. It says, for everyone, and, and everyone that swerved shall be cut off as on this side, according to it. Which is referring to you Edomites, man. Right. You the ones that has been stealing, swearing falsely by the Lord's name. You know, stole out of the Lord's possession and put them in your library that you have to have soldiers guarded. You the liar, you the one that's proclaiming to be the, the, the people of the Lord. You have done these things. So therefore these chariots are cursed to you. And the science in America have constantly been increasing over the years. Because this is the Lord, this is the place that the Lord has his eyes on. Because the angels of the Lord, they got their eyes on this place, man. Right. You know? They watch it. Because most of the uh most of the nation of Israel is over here in America. Also. You know? Right. It says, and I will bring it forth, That's says the Lord of hosts, the right. Lord of armies, man. Right. And his army is of angels. Right. He ain't playing, man. Yeah. And he gonna make us a part of his army. Right. And when he give us that spiritual power, man. Scripture's, when he give us some new bodies. Scripture says that all my battle acts and weapons of war. Right. What you think he used the angels for? The angels are his weapons of war. Right. When the right. Lord wants something done, what he do? He send the angel. The death angel. The Lord ain't got to get off his throne to do nothing. Right. He's the almighty. He don't got to do nothing. He just give our orders. Because he's the big boss. He's the biggest boss to the boss to the boss to the boss. Right. You know? It says, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. He saw you the thief. Look at the history. The history shows you that you were thief. How did you get all the gold that you possess? You didn't buy it. You didn't. You didn't just, you know, find it somewhere. You fucking stole it. Right. You know, you killed off the Native Americans and you stole the gold. I got a precept. Because this land, America, was known to be a land full of gold. The scriptures tell you that. You got it, brother. This is John ten and ten. The thief cometh not. But for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Now, who fits that category? Who's been stealing, killing, and destroying? You so called white people, man. Right. But yet, y'all innocent. Hey, what's your true name according to the Bible is Esau, Esau Edom, man. Right. Y'all the Edomites, man. Right. Y'all the true biblical Edomites that the scriptures speak of. Man. The word Edom comes from the word Ida one, which means red. Right. It says, I am come. That they might have life, the elect, 
and that they might have it more abundantly. Right. That's all, well, all we trying to do, brothers, is live. Right. At the end of the day, that's all we trying to do. That's all we've been trying to do. All we trying to do is live. And what these devils do? They kill us. Right. Exactly. Look what happened around the time of Maccabees. What they was doing? Trying to live. What they, what, what, them, what those Greeks was doing? Trying to kill them off. Trying to get rid of them. Persecuting them. They say Esau had Killing them on a Sabbath day. Uh, it right. say Esau had that um, perpetual hatred forever, man. Can you get Amos perpetual hatred? Chapter uh, 1, one verse two. 11. Yeah, yeah. And they hold themselves not guilty for all their history. But all the atrocious history they done um, did, man. All these things they did, they hold themselves not guilty. That's why he labels everybody but himself a terrorist. Right. It's crazy, man. Native Americans should have killed your ass That's right. Right when you came over this motherfucker, they should have killed some crackers, man. God damn it. But you know, prophecy had to be fulfilled. Yep. But Gad go overcame, overcame by that truth. But Gad go overcome the end like truth. That's right. Wait, man. <laughs> Fierce warriors, man. He's, hey, Gad was giving Esau hell, man. Man, Gad was giving Esau hell. You got that precept, brother? That was one of them. The book of Amos, chapter 1, starting at verse 11. Thus said Jehovah, three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment to hell. Right, so your punishment, you're not going to be able to get us get away from your punishment, Esau. No matter where you run, whatever, no matter where you hide, you're not going to get away, man. That's right. You Go can't ahead. sing your way out. You can't pray your way out. You can't, you can't dance your way out. You can't cry your way out. You can't. What you gonna pay the Lord? He don't. He, the Lord is a great king. He's very rich, man. He don't need your fucking money. Right. What are you gonna do with it? Not even real money. Everything is his, anyways, man. Come on, you got it, brother. This is the Book of Amos, chapter one, starting again at verse. Uh, eleven. At verse eleven, thus said Yahweh, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four. I will not turn away the punishment to hell. Uh -huh. Because he did pursue his brother with the sword. And he continues to do that to this very same day. That brother he's talking about is the nation of Israel, Jacob. His brother, Jacob, which is the nation of Israel. Go ahead. And That's did cast off all pity. So you didn't show no mercy towards us. You didn't show, you didn't show no mercy towards the young, the old, the weak, the lame, the retarded, none of that. You didn't show no mercy to our nation. You spoiled and devoured us in the time of our calamity. And you're going to pay for that. Every single last soul that you have you killed, you're going to pay for all of that, man. That's right. Go ahead, brother. And his anger did tear perpetually. That means it, he, he kept his wrath forever, man. He didn't, he didn't show no type of mercy towards us. He still feels the same way he feels today as he felt back then, man. This devil ain't changed. You know what I'm saying? That's right. He may have indoctrinated the minds of the people, to stray from that that mentality being a super devil, but they're gonna uh, ultimately go back to being that devil they yeah. is. Cause they they devils. They can't they can they act. Can't help them. Hey, but what the scripture says to um um ah uh, uh, it's escaping me. You know, they in their right mind. Our people are not in their right Doesn't mind. Doesn't the scripture say something like uh that devil transfers himself to a child? The angel of light. The angel yeah. of light, yep. They may act like that, but ultimately they still damn devils, man. And he kept his wrath forever. He kept his wrath forever. This devil still is mad about that birthright. And he's trying to get it back, but he's not going to get it back, man. Yo, it's prophecy. <laughs> you got hoodwinked. You got jugged. You got finessed, you saw. You the one that couldn't fast. God. Yep. So you it's, you should be mad at yourself. Yeah, you Ma be mad at right? your um. Yeah, I got some. Be mad at your forefather, Esau. Right. It's but this devil hold grudges though, man. It said this on um, Second Corinthians eleven and fourteen. It says, and, "And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light." Mm -hmm. So Satan is the so-called white man in the flesh, man. Right. You know, he transformed himself as an angel of light. That's, That's right. why you have like the Joe Osteens, the the Billy Grahams. Billy Graham Jr. Yeah. You know, they try, try to transform themselves as an angel of light. But they still the devil. They That's still right. the devil, man. They still feel like these um the presidents, like Biden. 
You know, he act like he's for you, for you, but he really he's against you. He's plotting against you, man. That's right. You know, you just you waiting on the right opportunity, and them niggas pray for Stab you in the back. You niggas pray for this double. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, they put it. Then they um, like Ashley, you know, come around and put, put hands on him and pray over him, something like that. Or was that Trump? I think it was that dumb nigga. Yeah, it was the nigga one. Nigga, nigga, one man, all the young niggas. I think that was Trump. Right. Yeah, Trump too. Now you can't pray for your enemies, man. Your actual enemies. When it said, when it says pray for your enemies, it's talking about your fellow brother, man, yeah. of your nation. And that was it on that. That was it. Was that one? Amos. Back in this um, Zechariah chapter five, um, verse see. four, it says. Says, and I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and it into the house of them that swear falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of the house, and it shall consume it with the timber thereof, and the stones thereof. That word consume. Speaking of a fire, man, because a fire is a, a fire is an element that consumes. So the Lord is gonna send this fire by way of those chariots in this in these in these last days, man. You know, it's gonna consume you people. It's gonna consume this place. It's gonna burn you. Just like when they show you on World of Worlds, that fire was burning them people. They also they, they got a remake of that out. Uh, I, I was looking at this on uh, I be mean, Peacock. They got a remake of World of Worlds. Basically, an out of thing, you know. You know how they make it look. Right. Something comes from out of space and starts killing people. Man. And, but the angels of the Lord are gonna come down and start murking you people, man. Mm -hmm. Burning you to powder. Because that's concentrated fire, man. Your, your skin is gonna disintegrate. Right. And that's the purest of the purest of the purest fire, too, man. It's coming from your house. I'm shot. You gonna put a spirit in the missiles. Yeah, you gonna put a spirit in the missiles, too. That's a hot fire, man. We don't wanna be a partaker of that. Oh, you, did you ever get that Revelation 27? Mm -hmm. uh, but, sorry, you that yeah, I got it. Oh, you got I, it? No, I got, um, I'm just, I still, I, I still had a, this up. This is, um, Zechariah chapter, um, 14, verse, verse 12. It says, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. It says their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall That's consume true. away in their mouth. <laughs> right. So this is this is what gonna happen when those nuclear missiles drop. They're gonna consume you people while you standing upon your feet. And it's gonna burn in layers, man. Mm. It's yep. gonna burn in layers. First your outer flesh gonna get, you know, it's gonna burn past, you know, it's gonna burn you to the white meat. Right. <laughs> and then past the white meat. It's gonna get, <laughs> it's gonna burn in layers, man. Right. It's gonna consume your tongue. Your eyeballs are gonna be consumed, and you're gonna feel it, man. You know, it's gonna be a slow, agonizing pain, man. You know why? Like, when you get cut, you get the deepest cut. It oh, hurts it's so. It's gonna be a fast. It pain. really like, hurt when you like yeah. have a deep cut. Imagine being burnt, though. And well, it's gonna happen so man. fast because once that nuke hit, it's gonna send that fire everywhere. Mm. It's gonna happen so fast. It's gonna people gonna burn up, and we are gonna see it too from the cherry. Yep, that sea of glass. Yep, we're gonna have the spiritual power to zoom in and, wa and watch you burn too. It's gonna be it's gonna be ugly, man. And yeah, we're gonna have 40 40 vision. <laughs> we're gonna have a hundred hundred vision. And hey, we're gonna be able to see, man. We're gonna yeah, hey, everything God. is gonna be turned up, man. All our senses, all our this is a low level bodies. shit right we're here. Have new bodies. Yeah. yeah, America's low level, but niggas wanna dwell in this shit forever, man. This is a low they wanna stay on a low level too. You trying to say, the right. be rest. on a high level, man. Right, because right. when Yahweh yeah. was, was resurrected, rose, he, when he rose from the dead, he wasn't using doors no more. Right. <laughs> he was like, fuck that. Right. He yeah. just walked in, man. Yeah, exactly. We're going to have that ability, man. We just, it don't open, it open, but we don't have to even, just open when we come. Probably teleport in there. Yeah, just we can just teleport in there, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
don't have to open no door. If we, if we don't want to, that is. You know? Right. Because we going to, hey, man, I don't know about you, but I'm, hey, I'm boasting in the, in the Lord, man. Hey, let me yeah. say, we can boast in the yeah, Lord all day long. Hell yeah, we're going to boast. Gonna boast in the Lord. These nations boast against us. We gonna they're boast in proud, and they low up. below us, man, and they're all proud. We're going to boast against them, man. Hey, you know how Jake like to show off, man. Right. Jake going to show off with the spiritual powers, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Hey, Jake put on a show. Right. <laughs> We're going to boast on with the riches of the Gentiles, man. Fucking sodomites, man. Yeah, I don't understand, bro. These fucking sodomites. Oh, this place going to burn, man. Picture, picture me with a damn butch. And she's still getting the same thing as she's still trying to get that pleasure as if she's with a man. But it's not. Great. Confusion. Fucking fusion, man. Yeah, exactly, man. That's why I get pissed off. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, starting at verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. Right. And they also would pierce him, and all kindred of the earth shall well because of him. Right. So he coming with clouds. He's not talking about actually clouds, because if that's the case, then the Lord will be back right now, right? right. Yeah. Yeah, but... This is talking about, it's a metaphor, it's a dark saying for a so-called UFO. Or what we know as the chariots of the Most High, the chariots of God. Huh. Those are the vehicles that the Lord created for. For the angels. And for us. And Lord willing, we get a chariot, man. Yeah, oh, we You know, will. I meditate upon that all the time, man. You know, having my own chariot, whenever I want to go somewhere, just lift myself up to the chariot and go over wherever I want to go, man. We definitely ain't going to be driving these cars. No right. cars and shit. We're gonna and have the chariot is going to be one with our spirits like it is with the angels. Right. Yep. It ain't going to just break down. Break and down. It has to be an oil time. change every month. I mean, every 3,000 miles. I would come over there, brother, my chariot in the shop. Yeah, exactly. Right. I got to wait We got to worry about that bullshit, yeah. shit, man. That's why this is some fucking low-level ass shit, man. We yep. It like really you is. said, that chariot got to conform to us. Yep. Whatever right. we wanted to do, get big, get small. We're going to have command over angels, oh. though. Right. Two. So, And we can have it whatever color we want. Yeah, come. I want a big, big gold chariot, man. Like, you know, it's some chariots that identify in the scripture the color amber, which the color amber is gold. Right. It was like a gold color, you know? And some was uh, be, uh, like a green, I believe it's beryl. Like it says in um, Ezekiel chapter 1. That's where right. I get that um, example from. Actually, you know what? We can get that. Ezekiel chapter 1. Um, well, I think we you said right. yours time. There's like 118. Oh, that's it's, uh, that's basically like it's almost two hours. Like, like, we can get a point off there real quick. It's almost. Starting at verse 4. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. Yeah, yeah, 120. It, it does it in minutes, not yeah, an hour. No, no, yeah. Yeah. You know, 60 minutes is one hour. So, yeah, 120 minutes is two hours. Uh, what I was, uh, go read that again, Mama Chuck. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter oh, 1, that, starting at verse 4. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. Damn. The scriptures re reference the chariots of whirlwind because of, because of that spin. You know? Hey, that, that's why, that's another thing that I think about too. That's probably why Jake likes spinners, man. Because of the chariots. Right. Yeah. yeah like Jake, Jake loves them spinners, man. And then Jake, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spin them bitches. <laughs> that's what I think about when I think about the chariots being a whirlwind. Right. That wheel inside of a wheel. Yeah, a wheel inside yep. of a wheel. Yep. And it's always moved. Go ahead. Hey, great cloud. And they fire enfolding itself. Right, because at night, these chairs, they look like, a, like, like that's the best way he could describe it in his lamest terms. He didn't say, oh, look, it's so and so and so and so. Well, he described it as a fire because that's exactly what it looked like. In different chairs, certain chairs be different colors. You might see a green chair, you might see a, a fiery red chair. You know, you might see a rainbow chair. It's different, you know, it's different colors. Go ahead. And a brightness was about it. Right, because it was a bright, it was like a big light in the sky, man. You know? It, it's like a star, but it's not a star. It's very, very bright. bright, bright so bright to the fact that we can see it down here, way down here, man. That says a lot. Go ahead. And out of the midst thereof, 
as the color of amber. Right, which amber is like a gold color. Out of the midst of the fire. Right, it's talking about the chariot, so called you went for. Yep. <laughs> that angel man, angelic form looks terrified too, man. Uh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter one, verse seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also would pierce him. And all kindred mm. of the earth shall well because of him. So these people, even so, amen. So this is going to happen. If people are going to be welling when they see these last days. The chariot, so-called UFOs of the Bible, they're going to be a flood in the skies, man. It's not going to be just one. It's not going to be two. It's going to be thousands, man. The Lord is coming with thousands of angels, man. You know? So if you ain't right in the spirit, man, you're going to be a part of that destruction that's going to partake in this place in these last days. That's right. And we can't wait to see the skies covered with the chariots, man. Because right. we know our salvation is near, man. Right. We're going to get the fuck out of here, man. That's right. And this place is going to be destroyed. We're going home, brothers. That's right, man. We're going home. We're yeah, going to live. Yeah, we're going to actually live, man. We're going to get the women that we desire. That's right, man. The food that we desire. Yeah. You know? The, the the king the 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 resting place that we desire because this place ain't our rest man. Hell no, man. Can't rest we can't get me. comfortable in this society, man. Man, we gonna we gonna actually get to live, man. I I think about it all the time, man. I hope your uh -huh. brothers is too. We two hours in. Yeah, we pretty much. So close. anybody's got any encouraging words, exhortation, brothers? Hey, the year to turn up, man. We see what's going on in, in, in Esau's media. Hey, hey, um, like. Um, the apostles are saying, brothers, you know, elders, hey, just be circumspect, you know, be circumspect of your surroundings, yep. you know, um, continue to pray, you know, continue to believe in Yahweh by Shemel Shah, and do your measure and do to the best of your abilities what the Most High gave you in truth and sincerity to the best of your abilities, you know, and, and, and keep the faith, man. He that shall endure for to the end, the same shall be saved. And that's what we striving for, that's what we hope in, right. and that's what we believe in, man. Your how about you know shot. Right. You got it, brother. So with that, man, you brothers don't have anything else to say or free something to bring out. And Lord willing, man, you brothers are edified with this lesson. You know, we're gonna close out by giving all praises and the glory to your how about some of shot by some of the Double honors to the apostle to the elders of Greg Christo. We tell us not as the spirit is pressing how much you shot. But peace, love, and salutations to the other brothers from his work and truth to the city. Shalom. 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 Shalom.